Hey Leah, welcome to your bonus full moon reading for anyone with Leo and the sun moon rising. This is going to be for your shadow work. The full moon is in Aries on October 20th, okay? So it is time, my loves, to find our passion, find our ambition, okay? Um, the challenge is going to be balancing that energy, okay? Aries can be very hot-headed, right, when they get passionate, especially when it's something that they feel they're connected to or they're fighting for, okay? So um, we don't want to be arrogant, okay? We want to take a leadership role, okay? Be a go-getter, right? And so many of our readings that was coming up that we want to... Um, have a reading or excuse me oh my god have a meaning to get out of bed in the morning right we want to feel that inspiration that light that ignition within us right um and under the full moon we can access our conscious our subconscious okay so it is time to look at how we can heal our inner child you guys are showing up this week as judgment in the reverse oh man <laughs> um this is a lot of self-doubt here, okay? This is some self-awareness is needed, okay? There's some type of lesson. Um, we also want to connect with our morals, our values, okay? The moon in the reverse is coming out, okay? So there's absolutely um, shadow work to do that we're not even aware of, okay? Um, but it's time to bring light within us, okay? Maybe that was even exposed to us perhaps some trigger happened, okay, that made us realize we had to go within, but we're having a really difficult time connecting with that, okay? Seven of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords in the reverse. There's this energy of conflict, a lot of conflict, a lot of being on the defensiveness, okay? But your soul truly, genuinely wants to come out of that right now. It wants to have things illuminated, the darkness illuminated, okay? Because um, you're suffering, right? There's this energy of you feel like you've been lying to yourself for a really long time, okay? Um, but I'm picking up, it's very much survival mode, okay? But you're looking for a way to come into that um, and look at it again with illumination, but you need to feel safe. You need to feel stable, right? Um, if you don't feel like you can handle the truth, why would you go looking for it, right? If you're watching this video, um, it's a good sign that you are ready to handle the truth, okay? Your challenge this week is taking the blindfold off, okay? The Eight of Swords, right? That self-restricted energy. I just did the Aries reading where they felt... Um, well, they didn't feel what the divine was telling them, <laughs> that they needed to take accountability, okay, for their situation, recognizes where they get, recognizing where they gave too much of themselves, okay, into this. Um, the page of wands in the reverse, the four of swords in the reverse, and the nine of swords. This is not following our soul because it's scary, because it's outside of our comfort zone, okay? Um, I just did a video of the high priestess, and the, I see it right here in your past, okay, so... If you want to find that, it's in the timeless playlist, okay? But there's a lot of anxiety, fear, okay? Um, depression, sleepless nights, okay? Just surrounded by darkness and feeling alone through all of it. And it feels like your identity, right? It feels like it's always going to be this way. No matter what you do, there's just this something within you that um, is deeply unhappy because of past experiences. So your conditioning is, um, this is what life is. This is what it feels like. And your soul wants to shred that illusion. Okay. It wants to destroy it with the four of swords in the reverse here. It's saying that you need ways to figure out how to protect yourself. Okay. Boundaries, right? Keeping yourself safe, giving again, giving yourself that safe place to look at the truth. Not, and this came up in the other reading as well, not seeking it externally, right? Not needing um, an outside source, a situation, a person to feel safe, to turn the light on, right? You're able to show up for yourself. That's taking accountability, okay? Your focus is, I have a lot of anxiety too, like when I'm talking. I don't, it might have been your reading that I felt it last time too, but <sighs> <laughs> um, 
in your focus is the five of wands okay so a lot of conflict you want to come out of it desperately okay there's an energy of forgiveness resolution okay i'm picking up sweeping a lot under the rug here and that's not the time okay because it can be um resolution but it can also talk about avoidance okay the lovers gemini energy here okay um this could be a twin meaning your soulmate okay um a relationship it can also just be inner conflict the way you treat yourself okay um how you know love how you feel you deserve to receive love how you're able to express love okay justice in the reverse and the hermit in reverse virgo libra gemini energy clarifying this conflict here okay and again, it absolutely can be a lot of inner conflict, regardless if you're in a situation with somebody else. Use that as a mirror to look within here, okay? Because you feel like something's very unfair, okay? Something's happening and it's not supposed to be that way, right? Um, it's being done to you. Again, it can be in a relationship, okay? Or a family dynamic here. But the hermit in the reverse is saying you are disconnected from your intuition, okay? If you were truly balanced, you would be able to understand the higher purpose instead of feeling like this is happening to you. This is actually making room, okay, for you to bring that light and turn on the light for the truth, okay? Uh, yeah, there's definitely some situation that's got your attention that's keeping you from understanding the deeper purpose. In the past, okay, I want to look at this. This is very interesting. I told you earlier, it's the high priestess, okay? So that's about feeling balanced. We're in touch with our intuition. Um, I talked earlier about being in touch with the subconscious, bringing it to the conscious, okay? I feel like this is a cycle, okay? And maybe it's with the external situation that's going on, okay? That keeps sending you back to yourself, okay? But there was a layer that you met of yourself in the past that gave you some type of wisdom, okay? Where you listen to your intuition about a situation. The hangman in reverse, more Pisces energy showing up. Page of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. Could have been with a soulmate connection with that Six of Cups here, but that is the card I read for inner child, okay? That and the Page of Cups. The Page of Pentacles is here. This is telling me you were learning about yourself, okay? Discovering what truly ignited your soul, okay? There could have been some realization here where you connected and realized that something was or was not for you, okay? But that realization was scary and we kept the light off, okay? The hangman in the reverse is saying we didn't get to that point where we, where we were able to understand the higher purpose. We just knew within deep down that there was one or that we weren't in alignment. We knew there was some type of truth, but I don't think we honored it. I think that we felt scared what is with all this pisces energy showing up your current position okay so let's look at this in the high oh my gosh i can't speak today is the last day of mercury retrograde <laughs> um, in the past okay when i just clarified the high priestess card we just received the hangman in the reverse that energy is here okay as your strength it's time to really sit with it and understand that perspective there's a cycle that needs to end, okay? October 23rd brings us into Scorpio season. That is the season of transformation, okay? Oh, it's time to understand something. Make room for something else. Something has to end, okay? Even if that's a frame of mind, a mindset, the things you tell yourself. Let's get more information on this hanged man. What is it, spirit? Because it's causing a delay, Leo. That's what I'm getting, okay? This is the delay, a pattern of thinking, Six of Swords, needing to leave. Okay, Ace of Wands in reverse. King of Cups, thinking that you're going to find your stability somewhere else. A different situation, a different relationship, right? It's just this situation that's the problem. There's no accountability of noticing, okay? And I'm saying this so kindly, right? The pattern. When else have you felt this way before, okay? It's time for you to show up for yourself. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for you to not seek anything else to fill up your cup, okay? The King of Cups 
cups, how balanced he is. He is so strong. He has a full cup. The King of Cups is aware of his emotions. He knows how he feels. He knows why he's feeling it, okay? He doesn't need the validation from anything external, right? Now, going forward, this is uh, interesting. Your energy here, Queen of Wands in the reverse with the world. The cycle's coming to a close. We are identifying what comes from ego, okay? Or at least starting to pick up the pattern here, okay? And that's huge. The divine sees that and there's going to be reward for that, okay? Because <laughs> I just see like five gold stars going on, okay? Because this energy has kept you stuck, my loves, okay? The four... I say that the four of cups the card of being stuck because everything's apathetic because nothing excites us because nothing's touching us right our souls our hearts the tower in reverse i just talked about um scorpio energy okay um this is a cycle that needs to end okay there's something here in the foundation right that's cracked that's broken something we learned possibly when we were a child right i'm picking up that survival mode energy again okay um be mindful, okay, that we learn things as children, okay, it becomes our reality, right? Sometimes the people that were teaching us, they just didn't have the skills, right? So forgive yourself, forgive them, and learn them now, okay? It's the biggest gift you can give to your soul. These freaking major arcana cards are stressing me out. Look at this. Soul lessons and soul lessons, okay? The world okay, is being clarified by Aries energy here for the full moon, perfect, a new beginning, right? The Empress in the reverse. You're not nurturing yourself. You're telling yourself, I have to move over, move on. I have to move to a new situation. This is what I have to do. But it's not um, because you're taking care of yourself, right? It's a defense mechanism. It's survival mode, right? Leave before you're left. Okay. And you may be gaining self-awareness to that and understanding that. And that's going to serve you so well, okay? Your advice is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Go after what makes you happy, Leo, okay? If it's a relationship, a job, okay? This is the energy of having it all, not limiting yourself, okay? Finding happiness where you are at, yes, allowing it to flow, bringing balance, okay? Again, you can be happy now. Happy doesn't have to be a destination, okay? You can have goals, right? You can want to change your situation. That's fine, right? Um, you can improve. That's great. But strive to find happiness today, right? Every day. Approach it that way, okay? The Hierophant and the Reverse, Taurus Energy, Two of Cups, Soulmate Connection here, Two of Pentacles, Allow love to flow here, okay? Allow the divine to guide what is meant for you, okay? It, your happiness, you don't have to fight for that. You're not going to get slammed doors in your face over that. The divine supports you. It's going to be effortless, but you have to tune in, okay? With the Hierophant in the reverse here, this is saying you're very disconnected from how to balance love, okay? How to take care of yourself, Um and you're feeling like that's what's missing here, okay? So your advice is to work through that. Again, how do we know love, right? Why do we look for perhaps relationships to make us happy, okay? Something you don't see coming, the king of swords in the reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here, okay? This could be somebody um, that wants to have a conversation with you, okay? This could be a separation, this is also an energy of guilt and shame, okay? Oh, wow. Temperance in the reverse again. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. With the three of wands in the reverse. Something is being blocked from going forward here, okay? It's not divinely for you. It's not for your higher purpose, okay? You're not supposed to wait around. For uh, the three of wands in the reverse is just a blocked path, okay? Um, something your spirit is not identifying with. Hold on, cards are falling. 
the king of pentacles in the reverse and the page of swords yeah it's just the spying energy it's what you're telling yourself you want it's what you think you need it's what's filling a void right it's something external it's not truly coming from within it doesn't truly bring you stability that's what's going to bring you that tower moment right when we're not really stable it's all flimsy okay we want something solid to stand on so we can build an empire right um we can feel stable we can share our stability um the king of pentacles is seeking a abundance and growth okay and he's so secure within himself that he can share that abundance with others okay that's being blocked in this situation a message from your soul is the wheel of fortune the reverse okay stop going towards bad karma notice the patterns okay um when you repeat the same things or act on the same impulses the same feelings arise, okay, right, like same shit, different day type of energy, okay, same story, different person, notice the patterns, please, okay, the four of pentacles, lessons need to be learned, okay, so you can feel stable, and approach it with gratitude, be grateful that you learn these lessons, be grateful as you awaken to this knowledge and this new level of self-awareness, don't beat yourself up for not knowing before, for not having the skills before, they weren't taught to you, Okay, be grateful that the light is on. You don't have to remain stuck anymore. There's so much to be grateful for, even in pain. Okay, and that's true healing. That's true growth. And what happens? Clarifying the wheel of fortune in the reverse. When we learn those lessons, the wheel of fortune comes out. And then the divine's like, there you go. <laughs> there you go, Leo. Six of pentacles in the reverse. It could be a lesson about how much you give to a situation, knowing when is too much, too little. The same exact message came up for Aries, okay? Now, going forward here, ace of wands. Love it, okay? New start, new beginning, new passion. We talked about feeling like a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Here it is, okay? It's some kind of new project, an idea, a love, okay? Um, the sun in the reverse and the five of wands. Ooh. Interesting. Ten of pentacles in the reverse. Something that you don't think will make you happy, that you haven't really given the time of day, okay, makes you happy. And what's showing up right now? The five of wands. My ear is ringing like crazy, okay? Your current situation, your focus is the five of wands in the reverse, okay? There's going to be balance brought to a situation here. Maybe not how you thought, but it's exactly what your soul needed and it thanks you because you have just paved a clear path, a solid foundation to build on. I'm so proud of you, Leo. That's amazing. I'm going to pull a Divine Feminine Oracle card for you guys. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. I noticed too, you guys had a lot of King and Queen energies. We're balancing those Divine Masculine and Feminine energies, okay? Queen of the Outsiders. I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. Beautiful. Okay, my loves, that's what I have for you for this full moon. I hope it was helpful. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. But most of all, be kind. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.